What's up guys? Come on in. Cribs edition, crib style, what's up? It's finally happening. You guys have been asking for the house tour. We finally moved. This is the first time we've ever lived in a really nice apartment. I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna take you through a tour of everything in here, everything we've been doing, everything we set up. This is the first time Rosie and I didn't have push trees, racks, covering our apartment. We're not doing office stuff, filling our whole living room. It's just our house. So I'm really excited, guys. Real quick, I bought this mirror because it looks like a Salvador Dali painting in some way. It just looks cool. I know it's a stretch on the Salvador Dali thing, but look at it, it's pretty sick. All right, guys, and then here, I finally have cabinet space. I just stacked my shoe racks like a ghetto-ass fool. I'll get a new one. But up here, I got room for days. I feel like a person that can do like Christmas decorations now. Oh. Speaking of, there's some Christmas decorations. All right, so this is obviously just some random ass table, but this, I don't know, I told Rosie, I wanna feel like you're walking into a hotel. Fake plants, cool shit. I don't know, I just thought it was awesome. And then here is from my homie Justin Boyd. You know my homie, he was Mac Miller's uh, personal photographer. This is a print I bought from him. This is in a random pool in El Paso. It's really cool, one of my favorite artists. Right when you walk in, super sick. Come on in here. First time I've ever had a half bathroom in my life. It's, it's just pretty cool. Once again, uh, Hotel vibes, fake orange juice, fake oranges, cool picture. I, I just want your grandma to walk in and go, wow, it's decorated so nice. And then this is the painting I bought. It matches this right here, obviously. Little one, got this from some old man on Venice Beach. Then I looked at the other side of his table and saw this, so I bought both of them. He was really nice, and then we did this to make you feel like you're at a hotel. Guys, I've never done this in my life. I've never had like a, a nice place, you know what I mean? Never had a hallway when I walk in, and I wanted the first thing you see, something wild. Come here. Look at this painting, guys. I saw it some some dude named Duga Art on Twitter. I just thought it was the dopest thing. It reminded me of ODB with some crazy ass color. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. You guys know I took like eight years of art. I still can't draw. So when I see paintings like this, I just gotta get them. And then look at this. So sick. These are the same flowers Rosie has tattooed on her. So we found it. Really, really nice. Just walking in, you wouldn't think some high ass kid lives here, would you? Oh, before we go in here, this is the penthouse. This is the very top level. When I walked in, the fool called me sir and showed me where I lived, which is the weirdest feeling ever. With that being said, I live in Burbank, but I'm not about to show you exactly where I live. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the exposure up, blast the windows out so you can't see where I'm at. It's a really bomb ass view, but I am not about to have fools knowing where I live. Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Off the bat, I'm really happy and stoked. I can't believe that we live here. It just doesn't even make sense. Laundry room, super boring. I have an island. Not an island, like a place. There's an island in my kitchen. Fake as hell and real. I bought this the other day, but these are fake. Like I said, I want you to walk in and go, oh, it's a model home. I went full American Psycho, Christian Bale on you guys. I labeled every single thing and bought containers. I was high as hell and I spelled flower like flower. <laughs> yeah, I, I realized that I'm illiterate. Uh, I did everything like this just so it looks really nice, man. I've never been more proud of myself being organized, all right? This is, everything has its own place. There's shelves. I used to have to push the push trees rack out of the way of all the stuff and then move it back just to like function in life. It's a different feeling. The coolest fridge I've ever owned. Honestly, dude, when I moved in, I go, where's the fridge? And then the lady opened it for us. I'm poor, all right? I grew up really poor. I've never seen this shit kind of shit before in person. Here we go. The only thing on the counter, Rosie's coffee machine, because we used to leave up all our stuff. I hate clutter, bro. I really hate clutter. And I know a lot of you are like, yo, yo, Thomas, what are you doing? You're showing me your house. This is a weed channel. Don't worry. We're about to smoke some bowls right now. I just want to let you guys see my new spot. Then we have a trash can in here like adults. Very awesome. All right. I've never felt more cool. Organization. I got racks for my cups. We bought nice plates and cool bowls. If you've been here since the start of all this, you remember our first house. Our first push Tree's house, the rent was 600 bucks and it was so hard to get that money every month. It was such a feat, dude. I remember it just trying to make Instagram videos, trying to get stuff done, attempting to make more push trees clothes. And then me and Rosie have to function in life. That's why I started getting the job at U-Haul and going to school because I was just so broke. Thank you guys for allowing me to be at this position because this is the craziest place I've ever lived in my entire life. And we got this place to wait for our house because we're going to buy a house next summer, not the one we wanted. So we're like, yo, let's just get a really, really nice apartment. Apartment. So that's what we got a penthouse. We could have got anything, but me and Rosie just wanted to like do something like, yo, let's live in a really nice spot for once. So that's why we're here. I have a shelf that's not even used. That's when you know you're crashing it. No, I'm just kidding, but I don't use that shelf because I'm short as shit. This part of the video, the background's gonna be completely blown out. Like I said, I don't want you to see where I live, but it's just mountain views and then the city. It's the coolest shit 
I never thought we'd ever live in a place like this, man. Okay, with that being said, we bought an adult table. All right, here we go. Me and Rosie have always gotten tables from uh, like garage sales or little spots. We have, remember the circle table, the first push trees table? We went to a really nice spot where adults go and bought this table. We're trying, all right, we're just trying. So we got some fake flowers here and then my good old bong. I'm not in no way, shape or form trying to be a bougie dickhead. I just told Rosie, hey, if we're gonna buy a table and chairs, let's go to like a nice ass spot and buy shit that we never thought. This is ridiculous. This wasn't even the most expensive stuff in the store. There's tables for like 25 bands at some of these stores. Makes me disgusted. No thank you. I don't care how old I get or how rich I get. I don't think I could spend 25K on a kitchen table, dude. So what I'm saying by that, we went to a little bougie like designer store to try to get some furniture and then I, I left. We went to a different store. Still super nice, but I'm practical still and I'm not gonna do that. So uh, real quick guys, I know the house is clean, blah, blah, blah. Bong dirty all right I'm sorry but this table look at this table I just thought like smoke sessions Thanksgiving friends over never been able to do that so thank you guys for making this possible all this stuff's really nice but I don't want to mess it up and that's the problem I'm like I'm all dainty with everything wiping it off I even have one of those handheld vacuums I'm a psychopath now guys I'm sorry I just know what it's like to not have shit so when I have nice shit I need to keep it perfect because if not I don't even deserve the shit right my own whip update. I saw one of my homies do this the other day and I can't help but not do this now. Every bowl gets Q-tipped. One bong rip did that. Look at this. And I promise you, it was one. I've been doing this shit for weeks. I know a lot of you thinking, Thomas, why is there so much bare space on your wall? There's not one picture on this entire part of the wall. Just because, guys, I'm looking for new canvases and stuff. You know I get a bunch of posters and do stuff all the time, but like I said, I want to <laughs> step it up a little bit, get some canvases, maybe put them in some shadow boxes. I don't know. I'm just, I want it to look nice. So this thing right here, guys, you've probably seen the back of videos, a broken skateboard, but look, some dude on Venice Beach, like made it an actual art piece. Look at that, guys. It's pretty dope, man. So yeah, I bought this off this old man and he was selling it on Venice Beach. It's the only artwork over here. <laughs> All right, let me show you my favorite part about the living room. So much cooler than my grandma's clap on, clap off clapper. Next piece, guys. We got new couches because I said, Rosie, I want couches that I want to sit on and not fall asleep. I know you guys. Tell me in the comments. You can have a brand new bed, a cool setup in your room, and sometimes you'll still sit on the couch until you fall asleep and smoking bowls. I'm very guilty, and I know you're guilty of that too. So I told Rosie, let's get really nice couches that we don't want to just fall asleep on and put dents in and put grooves in. That's why I got these couches because I was like, you know what? Let's prepare for our house. Let's look and feel like adults. Let's get some nice ass couches. So we went to this other spot and I got couches the exact same color as my car. I mean, dead on the same fucking color as the car. Check it out. All right, guys, that's the couch. These are super cool. I know they're just random pillows, but I'm impressed by little shit. And this is just some bougie shit. Don't mind that. The couches are just dope. We got two of the same couches. I'm burnt. You're supposed to get a long couch and a skinny couch. And I got two long couches like an idiot. So when I try to match them up, nothing really worked in the living room. So that's why I put a table in the middle. You know how you get a couch that's three people and a couch that's two people? So when you sit side by side, it works. You're not supposed to get two three by threes. That's why this doesn't work, all right? That's why I had to put the table in the middle. I'm burnt, I have no idea. I live in Burbank. There is a Best Buy in Glendale that is the best Best Buy I've ever been. I got this massive ass TV for like $500. Dude, it's an LG 80 inch TV for like $500. Go to that Best Buy, I'm just, there's a little piece of advice. Up next guys, the coffee table. My first coffee table was my kitchen table and my everything table. You guys remember the Push Trees house, so stay right there. I wanted to get coasters so I wouldn't mess anything up. Rosie and I found the coolest coaster set ever. It looks like a record in a record player, but they're coasters and they say funny shit. It's the coolest coasters I've ever seen. My sister lives in Santa Cruz for like 10 years. She had a roommate named Ralph. Ralph is awesome. Ralph also has the nicest living room ever. It's always a nice book. Coffee table is always perfect. The couches are nice. That's what I based that off of in my head. So take a look at this table. This looks like some girl that does Tumblr photos made this table. So we got fake plants again. Blue everything to match the car and to match the thing. And I got the sign a book for my homies Tony and Sammy. It's literally a Seinfeld book about fashion in Seinfeld and it's called I Hate Clothes. 
okay? And then we bought this rug because it looked like a mushroom trip. It just looked cool, it's cut out, I, I don't know. The girl hand makes these in San Francisco, we found it, and I think it looks really nice, man. Like I said, I'm trying to make it look like when you walk into a nice hotel and you go, damn, I wish my house looked like that. That's what I wanna look at every single day. And then this here, guys, is obviously the plant section right here. This is where Rosie does everything. Our last section sucked, so we decided to get all these cool steps. For anybody out there that has an apartment and you have a corner with light in it, put plants in your house, I promise you, you'll thank us. It's the best thing we ever did. I don't know, it just makes me feel better, dude. Just having plants in the house. I know we have hella fake flowers over there, but this is the real plant section. And the money tree will not stop growing. This started off with just this guy. This guy started off when we started the podcast. This is the podcast leaf. This is the dopest shop leaf. This grew this day after we started the company. Isn't that insane? The money trees are real, guys. Look up money trees, look into them, it's really dope. Right here you have one of my favorite people. This is Larry David. Everybody thinks it's Bernie Sanders. It's not Bernie Sanders, it's Larry David, creator of Seinfeld, all right? Down here, this is my cousin's logo. He gave this to me when I started Push Trees. This is his clothing company logo. He started when he was young, and he's like, dude, I see you're doing your thing. I just thought I'd give that to you. He gave this to me like a decade ago. Rosie's mom and our nephew, and this is my grandma Dolores, the one from all the story times. So that's my grandma Dolores and my grandpa Tom that I'm named after. Look at them, dude. White Jewish chick, Mexican kid, met in LA in the 50s, bro. My grandpa was crushing it. And I'm sorry, for all the gamers out there, I'm sorry. I, I don't play that often, but I have it, so when we do play, it's fun. But I do have a PS5, and I have the coolest, coolest DVD case holder you have ever seen in your damn life. Look at this. Scorpion, through the wall, killing murdering over here, Sub-Zero. Look at his dead ass, dead as hell. The coolest DVD case you have ever seen in your entire life, bro. And then my mom gave me this uh, full entire series of Sanford and Son, I'm so excited. Damn, that ball room got me high as hell, Jesus Christ. And then we got more fake ass flowers, but they look super nice. And then let me show you my favorite part, my favorite picture in this living room. We have the last supper that every Mexican family has in their kitchen or living room, except ours is the office. Some of you might call that blasphemous, I call it hilarious. All right, guys, that was the living room kitchen area. Let's smoke a bowl because I am a drug addict, and then we will start showing you the rest of this house. And for everyone out there like, drugs, weed's not a drug. I know it's not a drug. I just think it's hilarious to say it, all right? It sounds funnier than like, I'm a pothead. I'm like, well, drug addicts, let's go smoke weed. Also, if drugs didn't kill you, I would be doing drugs right now. But they kill you, and they ruin your life, and they take all your money out of your pocket. So don't do drugs. Just smoke weed and eat mushrooms, if anything. All right, guys, room number one. This is the Twitch slash smoke room. Even though we smoke everywhere, when I have homies over and we're really boxing it, I would try to be in here, but we haven't had a real session here yet. Guys, Rosie just had surgery. If you didn't know, she had jaw surgery. She's been out for like two and a half months. She's back to normal, so I haven't really been chilling that much. That's why there's not been that many lives lately or anything, because I've been chilling with Rosie at home, just doing stuff. That's why the last couple months have been kind of slow. She's back up to normal. We go to Vegas in the morning, then we go to Miami in a couple weeks, then we're going back to Texas and New York. We're back to normal. All right, let me show you the Twitch slash smoke room slash toy room. And again, thank you to every single person that does anything, supports, presses a like. You guys make all this possible. You guys already know what's up. But to have like a section for my, my toys and shit, the little kid in me is so damn excited. I've had this piece for 10, 12 years. Uh, shout out to Tech9, I'm trying to get him out on the podcast very soon. I think it's gonna happen. I had shelves installed for my really fun toys. Let me show you toy number one. This here is Stanley Ipkiss from The Mask. You got Milo the dog, you got the mask over here, the clock he smashed in the hallway, some money. There's a bunch of other stuff too, but just take a look at this toy. How epic is that, man? I go to that place, Frankensons. That's where I get all these toys. And then down here is the grasshopper from James and the Giant Peach. Look at this fool's joints. Damn, it's just hard. Little monocle. And then right here, my homie Jay, Super Smack Bros, got me this Super Mario Forrest Gump scene. He even has the little shoes. Look at his little shoes, guys. Are you kidding me? Super Mario, and they did everything so good. He's got the suitcase, the hat, she's reading a magazine. If you look, like it's an actual magazine with, with words and everything, they did such a good job. And this is the feather from Mario, so it's supposed to be the feather from Forrest Gump. Whoever made that toy, you're a genius. I love it so much. And then right here, I got this on Venice Beach too. Marge Simpson paper mache with little pearls and the string is pearls. I just don't know where to hang that one up yet, but I got this for Rosie a couple years ago. So cool. Up next, you got Foot Clan Soldier. This fool is this big. Look, massive. And listen, 
It's not a soft toy. This thing, I didn't know it was so heavy. It doesn't stand up on any of my shelves, so that's why it's sitting on the side. And then my mom's boyfriend, Zeke, got me this for my birthday. It's a Mike Tyson rookie card, PSA graded. And if you look close, the guy's mouthpiece is midair. He's knocking him out in this picture. Isn't this epic? <laughs> so you got me that. And then this toy is from Frank and Sons. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. I just thought it was amazing. This guy and his son customized toys. Isn't that cool? My homie Shabir got me for this for me for a long time ago. It's an office graphic novel as if apocalypse happened and Dwight was saving the office. So I had it installed in this thing, just really cool. This is Christian Bale as the psycho in American Psycho and I just thought it was awesome. And it has the Huey Lewis and the News CD. Like the people that make these toys really go all out in detail. But it's a real metal axe. It's actual metal, guys. It's the coolest shit ever. Now that I'm like got expendable income and shit, I'm over here buying toys. <laughs> This right here is very special to me. You guys saw this in the Indiana vlog. This is from Evoking, Evoking Sculptures. It's me. He made me pushing a mushroom. And like I told you in the video, I'm gonna put this in my shelf. I didn't lie to you, man. I love it that much. Thank you for real. He just started his own sculpture business. Go check it out on Instagram. Look at that. It's even got my shirt. Like, he really went all out on this, dude. So dope. And then this right here, most people don't even know I have. This is from a fan. This is my very first logo. It was me hugging a joint, smoking a joint. Just like this. It's my first logo on Instagram 2013. And there it is. Brady Harter. Made in Atlanta, Georgia. Hytography. Rochelette. I got this like almost 10 years ago. Look at back when I still had my original Instagrams. <laughs> oh shit. All right guys, up here, this is the movie section. There's a lot of movies and stuff like that. This is the Springfield section. And yes, that is the Michael Jackson toy from The Simpsons. Nikita's like, that's not Michael Jackson. In the show, he played the voice. And his name was Michael Jackson in the episode. Let's go to, let's go to level two. Down here, you have the Ace Ventura, Gumby. Shout out to you, Stephen Pruitt, Gumby from Chicago. This is the toy you gave me. I told you I was putting it in my shelf, bro. I appreciate you. Then we have Terminator, They Live. You got They Live Again, They Live, Bruce Lee, Mars Attacks. You got all the dope ass Mac. Dre. These are so hard to get. This is also from my mom's boyfriend for my birthday. Thank you. I've had these two for 12 years at least. Right here, Reservoir Dogs. Then you got this, Nikita. Thank you very much. You gave that to me. Mr. Freeze back here. My brother got me. I've had that since I was one year old and I've had that since I was one year old. Michael Keaton Batman, the best Batman. Then you got this Gremlin OG gave me and this is Saba from Power Rangers. And then back here, remember if you look at the adventures of Yola, one of the pictures is me like two years old with my Terminator gun, and this is the same gun I kept it my whole life. Right here, Jack Nicholson as the Joker from the 90s. Got all the stuff. My little brother got me this for me for my birthday. So sick, got a little shelf for it, all the little stuff. Right here, we got Jack Nicholson again as Jack Torrance in The Shining, and look down right here. Oh, these toy companies really, really make me stoked, bro. There's more stuff, I just put it in the boxes, but there's more stuff. There's his typewriter, his bottle of Jack Daniels. I just realized that it fell out of the frame, damn it, and this is the office. It's all signed by all the characters. It's really dope. Marty got this for me. It's so damn awesome. Right here, my sister got this for me on my like 22nd birthday, maybe 23rd birthday. This is a record. It's the Guy Loves Ugly, my favorite rapper of all time, Slug. Real quick, guys, you know John is part of the Dope Shop, but our other uh, partner you don't see very often, his name is Claudio. He's super dope, super awesome. He got this for my birthday. The best thing I've ever seen when it comes to memorabilia, and if you've seen this before, please drop it in the comment because I've never seen it. Aaron Rodgers, signed jersey. You know I'm a Packers fan. Signed jersey with his pictures in there, right? Super sick, insane, dope, but you've seen that before. You guys have seen stuff. Have you seen this before? See this plug? Watch this. Take a look at that screen. Plays Aaron Roger highlights, bro. Plays 20 minute session of Aaron Roger highlights. Before we get copywritten striked, I'm unplugging that, but how epic is that? And then right here, dopest gummy shark, Shark Tank. There it is. I keep these here for everyone that comes over. I try not to eat them anymore as much because I have stuff to do and they make me hella tired. I have three bottles of these. They're in the closet. I try to not to look at them. And then lighters, hash house box. Every time I re up, I just keep the same box. It's really dope. I'm halfway out. And then my homie Nico's part of Kush Clinic, so I went over there, re-upped recently. I've been trying a bunch of exotic ass weeds lately. This is my homie's company, Mutant Genetics. Zope, like from Fight Club, Wizard Trees, Versace it's called, Moonbow. Uh, there's just a bunch of stuff, dude, but this is my new little re-up bag I got last night. This is where I keep all my weed, and you guys, check this out. 
You ready? I bought this table specifically for this reason. 14 year old me right now is just loving life. So proud of me for being organized. I used to keep my weed in a little stash pot. I love it, man. Being able to smoke weed freely in California. And I'm just very happy. Thank you guys so much. You ready? Check this out, guys. Let's go. The Mecca. There's literally every single thing you could possibly think of in here except RSO because the RSO is over there. Red 22. Shout out to Shavo. We got our sauce down here. I got this from um, for my birthday at the meet and greet. Shout out to you. We got a bunch of dopest pens, hella papers, trays, grinders, ashtrays, hella hash house pods, dopest pods that I'm halfway through. That's where I put everything because I will lose them. Hella hash, mutant genetics, hella five hour highs. Uh, I had a lot more, but I drank them. And then I got a bunch of dab pads. Got some weed, butane, tools. Here's a bunch of random tinctures and weeds that I've gotten from people. I got this, I think it's called carbon fiber. Yep, I got this in New York. I'm just smoking little nugs here and there, guys, trying weeds people have given me. Shout out to you guys. And then I got my lighter case. And that's pretty much it, but it's just fully packed and organized, which I'm really happy. I know it looks like a mess, but it's organized to me. There it is. My Twitch is up and ready. I did my first real stream the other day. Shout out to Two Tone for getting it all situated. I know it's taken a long time, guys, but I didn't want to sit here and stream and shit when my house wasn't ready. Nothing was ready to go. You know what I mean? I've been mad busy, been traveling, doing stuff. I just, I need to do it right if I'm going to do it. So go ahead, boom, here's my Twitch. Go ahead and check it out, follow it. And I know a lot of people are like, yo, you've been saying you're going to stream. I've also been mad busy doing a lot of stuff. I need to do it right. If I do stuff, I have to do it right. And we're set up, ready to go the right way. So go ahead and check out my Twitch. All right, guys, let's go to the next room. This next room, guys, I just want to say thank you to my homie Trent. Trent's on Instagram. I'll, here's his Instagram. Check him out. This is my homie. He does a lot of carpentry stuff. He's a construction guy. I, I know I'm butchering it, but he builds stuff in Hawaii. He builds Airbnbs in Hawaii inside of trees. That's what he does. That's why he lives in Hawaii. But he's been coming back, helped me film, helped me do little stuff. But mainly, he came back and built the podcast table. He built the whole studio, the new story time set, the new review set. He built all of that shit. When we were getting a new spot, I told Rosie, we need a room just just for a closet. We own a clothing company. We don't even take like outfit pictures. I know it's like basic bit shit, but it needs to be done. As a person on the internet, I need to start caring more about that. Like when I was in high school, I used to give a shit about what I wore. I wear push trees and vans almost every day. Yeah, I buy bougie bitch shit all the time, but I, I wear vans in seven days a week. All right, I put that shit on like to do something and that's it. So with that being said, guys, I had Trent build us a closet room. So yeah, it's just a regular room. But when you see what he did, you guys are gonna be Shocked and very stoked. Let's go in. Are you ready? Real quick, before we continue into this room, I know a lot of people are like, damn, but why are you buying this bullshit? First off, not your money. Second, I like some of it. Rosie likes some of it. I still wear vans, like I said. I still wear push trees all day. I just like some of this shit. It's dope. Also, another piece of information, if you didn't watch the Adventures of Yola channel, I talked about it. As a person that's on the internet, a personality, a person that's on camera, I can write off my haircuts, facial stuff, skin cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Also, you can write off about 60% of your clothes and stuff you wear because it's part of your image and stuff on camera and you have to get new shirts. If I wear a new push tree shirt, I can write it off because I took it from inventory and I have to wear clothes. But if I go buy a crazy designer jacket, I can write off about 60% of that as long as I'm filming it and or take a picture in it or wore it on camera. So with that being said guys, not so dumb. I kind of know what I'm doing. It's helping me a little bit and plus never in my life think I'd be able to buy a pair of these shoes, let alone like, yo, I want to get the new one, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to be a bougie bitch or talk shit. You know what? I don't care. If you think I'm a dick, you run the wrong channel all right this is what i wanted to do and we did it so here's the closet we're gonna get rid of this thing but this is just little spaces i've never had organized underwear drawer in my entire life uh, i got my socks organized and gym shirts all this stuff is the coolest i've never i bought belts the other day because i had to wear a belt for the first time since like fourth grade in my life i've never really worn a belt so i went and bought a bougie belt don't hold me to it and then a bunch of jackets a bunch of stuff back here this jacket i bought in 10th grade this is the one from the picture you saw me when i had long ass hair same jacket Jacket. I love it. So let me move this mirror and you guys are like, why do you have a changing room? It's a closet. That's not a changing room. Let me explain. I have hella homies coming to town. They need to stay over here. I have my brother coming all the time. My mom comes all the time. So I need people to be able to stay somewhere and you're not sleeping on my new couches. That was the whole point of buying nice couches. So Trent said, get a Murphy bed. I don't know what that is. And then he goes, the things that go on the wall. So that's what this is. Are you ready? We built this so it kind of looks like a changing room. So it looks nice in the closet. 
It's one of these beds. And this is like a real dope mattress. It's not like a bitch ass little 40s mattress. It's dope. So yeah, this thing goes in the wall and that's it. So when people come over, there's still somewhere for them to stay. And I'm really stoked about that. All right guys, with that being said, let me show you what Trent built for us. And let me show you why I'm so stoked and why I did this because it looks badass. Um, the reason I keep all these designer boxes because it looks nice and when I put it away or I move, I put it back in the shit. If I'm gonna buy expensive shit, I'm gonna keep it nice. I could never afford expensive shit, so I'm not gonna throw it away and let it just stains on my stuff. So I, I kept it nice. That's why I still have all the boxes, all right? So here it is, Rosie's still putting all her stuff in because we have the other closet. This is all Rosie's stuff. This is her section. We wanted to make it look like a store. Yeah, we could have put nothing down there but why not like stage the shoes this is more of Trent's idea and I think it looks really nice why not I feel like if you walk in and it looks like a store I'm gonna give a shit more about my stuff I don't know it just looks nice and plus it's part of my image and I can write it off I feel like it's more motivational for me to walk in and go Thomas you have a closet room. It just makes me happy. The little broke kid inside me is like, bro, fucking job. And that's what it's all about. Making yourself like stoked for your former self. If that makes sense, you understand me. So that was Rosie's section. Let's move on to this other section because I have my section done. Rosie's almost done. So there's some lights down here. We got installed. Here's all the jackets and stuff. Push tree stuff. Obviously bougie bitch shit down here. I got a bunch of shirts right here. Some push tree shit. But check this out. So if you haven't noticed, up there is pretty high. I'm not that that's all. I said I wanted to make it feel like a store and uh, we really went all out. So this is how I get my jackets down. Just like a store. <laughs> Just like a store. I've never felt more awesome in my life. When I'm putting my clothes away, I put them away the second that I'm done out of the dryer and like, dude, I feel like it makes me care more because I want it to look nice. You can't like throw your clothes around when you have like the stick thing. You know what I'm saying? And if you look down here, these are a present from my homie Tony. Shout out to you. The shoes with the box looks nice. And up here is a bunch of bougie bitch shit again, but I don't know, man. It looks cool. I, I like this. It looks really nice down here. Then I put my pants over here. Guys, I've never been organized let alone my clothes be organized so awesome all right this is everything all the stuff so guys this is the clothes section i just think it looks really nice it just makes me want to dress nice if you understand you guys get it it's just like a self-improvement kind of thing i don't know i'm trying guys all right this next part is my favorite part it looks really really cool we built all this stuff for only like 1600 dollars. all from ikea every shelf every single thing you saw every pole and all this stuff all ikea we're not holding out on you guys all right it was not that expensive to make to make it look really nice and the lights you saw were like eight dollars they're little lights that you stick in the bottom of shelves and it makes it look like a store. So we have a shoe shelf, guys. And like I said, it just makes me care. I clean my shoes before I put them back. It's like a video game. Watch, these aren't lit up, boom. You turn those off, you turn those off, turn them back on, turn these on, turn those off. It's fun. I walk in here like the bat cave. I'm just like, yo, never in my life did I think this would happen. It's very cool to look at. And then like I said, you just point and click. It turns off little sections. It's awesome. It makes it more fun to me. Rosie got these for me in New York. Storytime Orange and they're skate shoes. They're a skate shoe from Louis Vuitton. That's why I got them. I don't have Louis Vuitton shoes. I don't really like their shoes. But they released some like DC America style skate shoes and they're orange. Copped them. Look at these, the Bouvier sister vans. It's got like hair and fabric, it's so sick. And it's just a bunch of shoes. And then up here, literal, my first fucking pair of red vans in my life because I've never been able to wear red because people think I'm like damn gangbanger. So that's why uh, my homie gave me these. These are wild looking, but I do like them, but they're hard to wear because I'm fat. So I just look like a, a ball wearing stick shoes, but I will f eventually make them look cool. And then this whole section is Rosie's stuff. This is all her stuff. We just, like I said, we kept the boxes. It makes it look really nice. Boom, shut them all down. Pow, turn them back on. I love it. And then over here is my first pair of shoes I ever bought myself that I was like, yo, you spent more than like $100 on shoes. And um, I kept them because they're awesome. I love them, but they do look identical to Vans. I, I know I could have just bought some Vans. I understand. So guys, that's it. Turning these lights off makes it feel like a video game and it makes me happy. If you think it's stupid, I do not care. It's fun to me. If you didn't watch the podcast recently, we have Atmosphere, my favorite group, my favorite rapper of all time is Slug from Atmosphere. We have them booked coming on the Dope As Usual podcast, all right? They're coming first quarter of next year. I'm not sure if it's January, February, or March. I'm not sure, but I'm excited. This is my Atmosphere poster, the ASAP Rock Merce. I just really love this picture. I've had this for about 10 years. So I'm gonna show you the bathroom, guys. I know it's just a bathroom, but I'm gonna show you it because like I said, we want it to look nice. When my grandma comes over for the first time soon, I want her to walk in and go, Thomas, wow, it looks so nice in here. 
that's what I want. It's not all weeded out like the last house. There's ashes and bongs everywhere. I got my one bong out. I got the smoke room. Everything goes into a case. Like I'm trying to make it look more professional. You know what I'm saying? Like I want my life to be on a schedule better. I want my stuff to be organized. Just I'm trying to level myself up. So check out the bathroom is what I'm saying. Bro, get it, get it, get it, dude. Look at this. Never had a glass door shower in my life. It looks so damn nice. Story time orange. I had the shelf put in so we could put the smelling salt things, the little incense and the towels. I rolled these towels. Like, bro, we're trying, all right? It looks like a hotel in here. I love it. And for the first time in my life, we have one of these, the overhead rain things. And then we just like put these in there. It looks cool to me. And then we got the Frida avocado. And then over here, story time orange. Super fake flowers, but damn, doesn't that look cool? I just want it to look like you could do mushrooms in this house and have a good time. I'm growing up on the towel, oh shit. And then this right here, Marty had made for Rosie and I. It's printed on metal. It's actual metal. This is Rosie and I's, we used to call it, fuck Coronas, grab some joints. We did this picture in like 2012 at Santa Cruz. We redid it with Marty. Marty took this picture for us in uh, Irvine somewhere, I believe. I just love it. I really love it. It looks like an ad. Push Trees is in color, like in the light. It's dark, light. It just looks so cool, man. It's just, this is me and Rosie, man. Just passing a joint, sitting down together. I love this picture so fucking much. All right, guys, I'm trying to make everything in the house look really nice. Rosie had jaw surgery, right? So I was trying to get everything done, get her bed set, new bed, everything. I ordered three different bread frames. I've ordered three different companies, and all of them have messed up in some way. I've had five different deliveries that haven't had my bed frame. I had one bed frame that finally worked. Right when I got back from New York, I put it together, and it didn't have a middle bar. So we slept like this in half, and then we looked it up. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a curved bed. I don't want that. So me and Rosie still don't have a bed frame. Frame. It's been month three. We just got off the phone with the bedding people and again, they messed up the order. Today, this morning. So we're still waiting on a bed frame. And I know I'm like, stop bitching. I'm just telling you why I'm sleeping on the ground still. Me and Rosie used to not have a bed frame. We used to just put our mattress on the ground just like this. We moved into this new spot and me and Rosie are like, yo, no matter how bougie it is, no matter how nice of a place we get, we're still we're still gonna go back to sleeping on the ground. I like it. It makes me think of the Push Trees house when we were just sleeping on the floor, man. But we're back to that. We're still back to that. Come on in. And yes, this is a George Costanza blanket. It is a quite amazing. So this is on my bed. And if you don't know what it is, it's from Seinfeld. I also have some random half-naked man on my bed. It's a Seinfeld George Costanza picture. My normal ass bed that's just on the floor. My end table with weed. And there's pipes. And right here is Rosie and I at our old apartment. My homie Scooch took this picture. I just thought it was cool, so I framed it. And then right here is my Uncle John and I. One of the only pictures we've ever took together. He doesn't like taking pictures, but um, you know, my Uncle John passed away recently, but this picture is very awesome to me. Love it. I'm not trying to be a dick at all. I framed this because I was proud. I know it looks illegal, but this is my first legal weed money of my life. I got paid for a huge con. I mean, obviously to me, it's a lot of, that's the most money ever to me. Sorry if you're fucking rich, but that's a lot of money to me. And this is my first legal weed money. A legal company paid me to do stuff for them, like promo this, that, a campaign, and they dropped off illegal stacks to me. I never felt so torn. Like, yo, I don't sell packs no more. I'm trying to do this content shit. Oh my God, I got paid. I finally got paid. I finally got some money and they brought me illegal stacks. I'm like, no matter what I do, I'll never get away from these trap feelings, will I? I'll always be a drug dealer at my heart. And no matter what we do, Rosie and I, I don't care if we're in a millions of dollar mansion. Seeing the bed on the floor kind of makes me feel like we're not there yet. We're still pushing, you know what I mean? And I'm not sponsored by Best Buy, but the Best Buy over there in Glendale is the dopest. I got this TV for $600, the fattest deal, all right? And then this, when I moved in, they said, you want us to remove the chandelier? And I'm like, bro, no, it's amazing. Please leave it. And when I was tripping on mushrooms, if you guys watched the podcast, I talked about it. This is the chandelier I was talking about. This is the this is the thing that was tripping me out. And this painting I got from my homie in Santa Cruz, this is before Rosie and I ever started Push Trees. I just thought it was cool. But after we started Push Trees, we realized like, what? Push Trees was gonna happen no matter what. It's a perfect symbolism of it. But they have really weird eyes and he has a blue mustache. So that's why I bought this painting. So, and then in here is the first time we've ever had a tub that I fit. I'm fat, but it's the first time I had a tub that I'm like, hey, I can, I can kind of fit in the tub. So come on in. Once again, we did the old hotel thing. It made me so happy to look at the hotel. And then this, I got on Venice Beach again from some tweaker lady. It was so nice. And I just looked at it like, oh, it's me and Rosie. And once again, the trees going into the abyss. I don't know. I just, I just really, really like it. I've never had like fun taking shit. I walk in, I put my phone right here up top. I bump music and then I do cool shit. Sometimes I smoke weed in here. I've only done it a few times. We have the eucalyptus plant right there so I can breathe. Marty got these for me. Ace Ventura come out of the rhino's ass. Chris Farley. Living in a van down by the river. 
And then over here, we have a tub and one of these things that you get at a hotel so you can put stuff on. So I've been putting weed and shit. You can take dabs and take a bath. It's dope. It's mainly for Rosie, but I'll use the shit out of it. All right, come on, guys. My little setup is this little cool light. I know babies use it when they put them to sleep, you know, they put it above their crib. I just think it looks cool, so fuck off. And then the Carta sits here, and I usually have the bong over there. And this is it. This is my setup, guys, our new spot. Really stoked. Real quick guys, let's smoke another bowl. And also, I'm just about to do this right here. Me and Marty will be in the chat every Monday, three o'clock. Me and Marty are in the chat. Say what up. Here's a live chat going on the side. Hustle and Motivate episode. This one's dropping. Season three is coming up in just a couple weeks, guys. All right, guys, this video is pretty simple. I'm just showing you around the house, literally smoking a couple bowls, showing you the new spot. But before we go, I was just about to eat something and do the chat. I gotta show you what we're about to eat. Shout out to my homie Nico. Once again, my homie Nico from Kush Clinic. He just went to New York and he's from New York and he's a vegan. And I didn't know all the vegan pizza spots when I went, so I didn't really eat any cool pizza when I went to New York. He froze and brought pizza back. All right, check this out. This fool went above and beyond. This is from a place called Cuts and Slices. I'm not sure it's a spot right out there in Brooklyn, but let me show you guys this. I'm going to eat this, smoke some bowls, and I will see you guys later. And I'm sorry if I'm making you guys all hungry and shit. I just needed to show you guys this. Look at this. This is truffle. This is all vegan. I'm so excited. I don't know. He explained what it's made out of, but I don't really remember. I think this is lentil sausage or something. I'm not sure. And I've never had these before. These are Jamaican beef beet patties, but they're made with lentils and, and vegetables instead of meat. I'm excited. This is really dope. So guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you for coming and hanging out in my house. But right now I'm subtly making you leave. Come with me guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Don't forget your shoes before you leave. We're monetized and verified on YouTube if you didn't know that. That's why I have that little check mark now, finally. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm Dope Zola. Have a dope ass day. All right, let me smoke some bowls.